So, for months, I have been having this as breakfast. But today, I feel like getting French toast. So I'm gonna make French toast. But first, I have to go get the ingredients. Logo. All right, so now we have everything. Let's get started. So first I am going to make this little mixture thing in this Tupperware so that I can dip the bread in there. Hopefully, is this thing big enough for the bread? Let me see. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Eggs. Oh, there All right, so three eggs. Done, we now have three eggs. Now we need some cinnamon. So I'm just gonna take my little measuring spoon and measure like, what is this? One teaspoon, something like that. Actually, how much cinnamon did I have to use? So let me check. Ah, okay, good thing I checked. Not one teaspoon. One quarter of a teaspoon. Do I have a quarter teaspoon over here? I'll eyeball it. If this is one teaspoon, one quarter is like about this much. So I'm just gonna, oh wait, it's not open yet. Let me hold this away from my face so I don't accidentally inhale some. So why is it so hard to come off? I'm just gonna break it. Come on. Okay, you know what? Let's use this. So, there we go. Finally. Ooh, I can smell this. this smells good. So we need a quarter teaspoon. Yeah, so I poured about this much in the end. It should be good. There we go. Now the next thing we need is some milk. So I think I'm just gonna eyeball it and see how good my eyeballs are. Oof. And now we just mix this thing up. I do have a hand mixer, but I'm too lazy to use it. Actually, I don't know why I'm saying I'm too lazy to use it, because doing this takes more effort in the end, but oh well. You know, last time I did something like this on a uh, vlog uh, video was when I made the, uh, the carrot cake. You know, the, uh, I think I'll put a link up there somewhere. Okay, it's looking pretty good now. There's actually quite a lot. I can make like five or six of like these or something. Don't know how I'm gonna finish it, but here, here we are. So let's dip this in and start cooking. Hmm, good bread. I don't know if you can see this here, but the cinnamon's kind of like floating on top like this. I think it'll be fine. No, why am I putting cinnamon into the fridge? The cinnamon does not go in, need to go in the fridge. I'll just put it here. To turn on the stove, I'm going to put a little bit of butter in there. And I'm just gonna put a little bit in here so that I can test this out with that first uh, bread over here. This is gonna be my uh, guinea pig uh, toast. There we go, now we have butter in the pan. So while I wait for this to heat up and melt, I will start dipping the spread. Did you know that bread floats? Well, now you do, it floats. It actually floats very vigorously, is that the word? Like you can't, it, can't, it won't even sink even if I like poke it. Okay, now let's get the other side of the spread without making a splash, please, without making a splash. There we go, nice and no splash. Let's take this and transfer it here. Mm. 
Okay, I think this is nice and brown. It's looking pretty good. I think the other side is almost done as well. Yeah, the other side can use some more work. In the meantime, let me put the other one into the, the dip, whatever this thing is called. Batter, dip, pool, bath. I think bath seems more appropriate. Yeah, this is a bath. All right. And now we have pancake, I mean, French toast. So the dorm assignments for next semester is gonna be coming out pretty soon. So hopefully I get a place where I can cook.